Thank you for coming. Um, when I, uh, I, I really, I really, part of the surprise is, I mean, I really enjoy uh, campaigning, <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is, a lot of people said, oh my goodness, that's very hard work and it's going to be awful. But the surprise is, I, I truly enjoy it. And I truly enjoy meeting uh, so many people. But, but oftentimes when we're canvassing and we're going door to door, um, people will open the door and they'll come and go, Oh my God, I didn't realize you were that tall. One fellow said, We can cut two feet off you. You won't even miss it. Eh? <laughs> um, anyway, I, um, we're here today to, uh, to, uh, release the rest of the platform, and I'm really, I am very honored uh, to be joined up here by Brittany, and by Laura, and by Steve, and by Dawn. It's quite a privilege to travel in that kind of company all the time. Now, now th th this platform. Now, this platform is has really been uh, inspired um, by these folks and by an awful lot of people like them. Um, and many of you here have given content uh, to what I am going to speak of here. So, what I'm going to do? There's really, there's really uh, a number of pieces to this. There's the, there's the one, there's a piece that has to do with jobs and growth, which we've talked about already, but we'll go through that again just to, just to ensure it's part of the package and that it's understood. There's, there's another section on accountability and fairness. There's a section on building a vibrant community. There's a section on population and people, population stabilization and people attraction and there's a section on youth and senior engagement. So if you will indulge me for a few moments, let me uh, just share some of uh, the details of these sections with you. Let me begin by saying that I do truly believe that we have a great future. And let me say that I think we are at a crossroads at this point in time. And I think time this is, it is the time to rightfully take our place as the creators of our own destiny. And that, quite frankly, is why I am running for mayor. I believe that our best strength, our best asset, is our people, is each and every one of us. And my goal as mayor is to unlock that potential and to create a prosperous future, a prosperity that will be for us all yeah. and not just for a few. Mm -hmm. Now my priorities, as you know, is to build upon our strengths and to achieve great potential. And we must fashion our future together no one is going to do this for us. There is nobody coming from away to save us. This process has got to be community driven and it must be supported by all. I, as mayor, quite honestly cannot do this alone and I don't intend to do this alone. I intend to take you on this journey with me as we strive to be our best. There are five main priorities. The priority, the first priority, which I spoke of several weeks ago, is economic growth and wealth creation. And it has several components. First of all, as mayor, I will expand the economic development function of the municipality. For us to survive and to thrive, we must be proactive in growing our economic base. We must generate new wealth for each of us and for our municipality. We need a holistic approach and the entire thrust of the municipality must be working 
towards the goal of economic expansion. We must support the businesses of our community in ways that are strategic so that they may grow, they may prosper, they may pay taxes, and they may employ more people. Secondly, I will work collaboratively with the other levels of government to establish a community investment fund for our business sector. We have some very successful <coughs> small businesses and medium-sized businesses, like Steve Lilly's. That business is growing and is providing stable employment for many people who likely would not be, be here if not for that business. We in the public sector must nurture this through providing access to capital. Thirdly, I will work tire tirelessly to ensure that the proper development of our harbor assets that we, we develop our harbor assets here in Sydney. We work together as a community to get the harbor dredged. We now must work together as a community to ensure that we attract the right type of industry to provide good jobs and good revenue for CBRM. Mm -hmm. I believe we are close to attracting a private sector investor in respect to a container terminal that will be located adjacent to the Greenfield site. Don Rowe and I believe that it is critical that all harbor assets be owned by this community. <laughs> that ownership, that local ownership, will serve to ensure that this site is developed and that the benefits of that development will flow to this whole and this entire community and will not just benefit an elite. <laughs>